Moving on to the vascular ring, this is going to present in an infant who is less than one year old, classically with stridor, and in many cases coughing, as well as dysphagia. One key differentiator of the vascular ring clinically relative to some of the other causes of stridor is that the stridor is ultimately going to improve with extension of the neck. This is in contrast to other conditions such as laryngomalacia as well as epiglottitis, which are not going to improve with such a maneuver. Additionally, and this may often be present in the actual vignette of the patient, if we give this patient steroids in order to knock down inflammation or racemic epinephrine in order to open up the airways, this is going to lead to very minimal or no improvement in the patient's stridor or symptoms. This lack of improvement in response to steroids or racemic epi is due to the fact that vascular rings ultimately represent an abnormal vascular development. This is therefore an anatomic anomaly that is not going to resolve by simply dilating the airways or decreasing inflammation. One classic vascular anomaly that occurs in the case of vascular rings is the double aortic arch, which we will review in the coming slides. And ultimately, because this is a case of abnormal vascular development, this can lead to two different problems in these patients, the first of which is heart defects, and the second of which is compression of the airway and the esophagus thus leading to stridor. In our patient with normal anatomy of the aorta, trachea, and esophagus, the aorta is going to sit anterior to the trachea, which is going to sit anterior to the esophagus. However, one classic anomaly that occurs in the case of vascular rings is what is referred to as the double aortic arch. In the case of the double aortic arch, there is this vascular connection between the aorta which essentially causes this straddling of the trachea and esophagus, leading to stridor. However, upon extension of the patient's neck, this vascular ring is going to come further posterior, thus being displaced off of the trachea and esophagus, and leading to a relief of the patient's symptoms. And again, this improvement with extension of the neck is highly characteristic of vascular rings on examinations. On physical exam, the patient may have stridor as well as wheezing, and not surprisingly, they may also have a heart murmur as a result of these anomalies, often involving the aorta. Our initial test in these patients should be to get a chest x-ray, which is going to show anterior bowing of the trachea. Additionally, in these patients, we can also get a barium contrast esophagogram. And because we are evaluating these patients for anomalous arteries, it can also be helpful to get a CTA or an MRA. Additionally, given the fact that these patients may have a heart murmur, as well as the potential for cardiac and aortic anomalies, we should also get an echocardiogram in these patients. And ultimately, because this is a structural issue, we're going to manage these patients with surgery.